Hey everyone, Josh here from Siren Hex Media. Today we're going to be going over the basics of masking and how you can use it to remove unwanted objects from your frame. Let's take this shot for example. As you can see, the boom dips into the frame briefly. However, this is an otherwise great take of the performances we need for the film. Luckily, this entire shot was done on a tripod, so we're going to take a portion of the shot unaffected by the boom dip and use it instead. In order to put a mask on a layer, we just need to go to the effects control panel and go to the opacity section. Now we'll create a basic square opacity mask. By default, it'll place it in the center of the frame, but by dragging to select every vertice, we can easily move it up towards the boom mic. Now, we can select each vertice one at a time to fully include the boom mic. But, this isn't the part of the shot we want to keep. Go back to the mask in the opacity section and select the option Invert. This will tell Premiere to keep everything but the masked selection. Perfect. Except now we have a huge black hole in our shot. To fix that, all we need to do is move our video to the V2 layer and put the unaffected portion of our video underneath. Now, with some adjustments to the feather of the mask, you can never tell there was a boom mic there at all. Now, the mask tool may be simple to use, but with even the most basic understanding, it can be used to create many Hollywood level effects that can be done inside of Premiere with nothing but a steady camera and some patience. We'll be going over some of these effects in future videos, so keep an eye out. That's it for today, but make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notifications button for more videos just like this one. And if you have any suggestions for future tutorials we could do, feel free to leave it down in the comments section. Till next time.